Okay, so I know we haven't been as active as we'd like, but the entire crew, including myself, have been really busy studying. So we're gonna do a quick fire instead of a top fire, which is like the same thing, but without the skits. So let's go. No one wants to be the beat. Since most of the RC5 crew, including myself, have to study for exams, we just want to share five important tips on how to study for exams. For those of you who think that studying is all about just picking up the book and reading, or just doing past papers, you might want to reconsider your strategy with the following items. At number five, we really think you should create a timetable for studying. And you can do this in either one of two ways. One is itemizing based on your exam timetable, where you study for the courses in the order that they appear. Or you can study in the order of your course strength, where you dedicate most of your time to your weaker subjects, and you basically breeze through your strong ones. But if you're generally weak in all areas, well, you're dead. At number four, we really want to emphasize that you choose where you study. Now, some people can study with noise and movement all around them. But for me, I need absolute peace so I can argue with the voices in my head. Now, this is also important to mitigate against other distractions like people disturbing you or messy environments or anything else that could cause you to lose your work focus. So if you don't know where the library is, try to find that country and migrate there until exams finish. Number three, it's a really good idea to rewrite your study notes. What this allows you to do is remember what it is you would have covered in class while reading it and committing its memory by rewriting your notes in your own words. We're not saying just to write the words, I'm saying read what you wrote, understand it, and then rewrite it. Now for this to work, you actually would have had to have been in class and write notes. So this may not apply to many of you watching this right now. At number two, it's very important that you rest up during the exam period. It's a scientific fact that a well-rested brain is able to function and retain information a lot better than a fatigued brain. Now we know what you're thinking. Rico, I just sleep all the time and I still not get through. No homie. We're saying to study for a couple of hours and then give your brain a 20 minute break, not sleep for two hours and give your brain a 20 minute study. And while our nights are great for covering a lot of things at once, you should still try to get at least five hours to allow your brain and your body to recharge. And finally, number one, the best way to study for an exam is to practice. Especially for courses dealing with math, physics, econ, and stats. You have to apply the concepts and look at the process for getting the right solution. Besides, who the hell can read physics and understand it without practicing it? And even if you're doing courses like literature or history or any other course that doesn't require calculations, understand the theories and concepts that were presented in class or practice saying things about a historical topic that will help you remember more. Don't just try to bluff your way through it. All we want to hear are the first two letters of the alphabet, okay? And that's it, guys. Now, y'all shouldn't be watching this because your asses should be studying, but we appreciate it anyways. And remember, guys, the opposite of integration is differentiation. Oh, yeah.